data. What it means is you measure something several times. Okay? So for example, here on the left, upper left in that graph, there, you, there's a number of measurements and the number exceeds 150 measurements of the same controlled feature and the observed value is shown and there are some fluctuations okay there are some random errors okay? and this is for a controlled experiment okay so, so there are some variations so what you can do is you can plot a histogram of these data you get a feeling for the distribution what a histogram is and that's shown here above my head is you split up the values into intervals okay and these intervals are here only 0.5 of the value okay and then you have little intervals okay? and you count how many observed values you have within this interval what it means is that the vertical axis is the number of measurements in an interval and in the end you can convert it to a percentage and you get a, distri a distribution you can see this this distribution here and if it resembles a bell-shaped curve it is a normal distribution okay? you get a normal distribution that's often the basis used for statistical analysis and from this uh, distribution you can also see that there is a value which you have uh, which has the the largest percentage okay you can see the 20 value here is the largest percentage and that sort of gives you a first guess of the mean value or the average value okay let's have a further look so now what can you do with such data you can work out the mean value okay, so what's the mean value and this is shown here and i get my mouse pointer working here it's this it's a formula again but essentially what it is the average value or the mean value is the sum of all individual measurements that you have the sum of all data a1 is the first observation a2 is the second a3 is the third and so and you have a total number of n observations the sum of all these and then divided by the number of observations and in the formula it can be written like this this you have the sum symbol it's the sum of all day of all values and divided by n so now you want to do a little bit more you also want to tell give a range of you know you want to say my result is average value plus minus something okay? and this is what we call the standard deviation this is the standard deviation it's also a formula okay? for this formula you need to know the average value okay the mean value which is here plugged into this formula and you take the difference of each individual value with the mean value in brackets uh, to the power of two and the sum over all measurements you divide by n minus one and then you take the square root sounds complicated but i think you can work that out so what do you get in the end you can express your results in terms of the mean value plus minus and now you have different options on here on the left and yellow it depends on what you want to use in terms of uh, the confidence and that will be become clearer on the next slide where i, sh I show you my original uh, data okay so you you can say okay i use um, mean value plus one plus minus one standard deviation and with that answer you actually capture 68 percent of all the data that you measure so to, sort of two thirds of the data. There can be still one third of the data can be outside this answer. Okay, 
if you say my result is um, the mean value pl plus minus two times the standard deviation, you capture already almost all data, 97.5%. Okay? And if you take three standard deviations, then you capture 99.7% of the data measured. So you have more data represented but the answer is more uncertain because the range plus minus range is actually bigger. So let's just see how that looks like in my example here with all the uh, uh, the measurements, the 150 measurements, and you get the answer that the mean value is around 20, so it's actually 20.099, plus minus 1.02 at 67% confidence interval, okay? But the answer changes are dependent on what confidence interval you choose. So you have a range and a probability part of your answer. So whenever you use the standard deviation in an answer, you have to tell what confidence interval it is based on. That's an important part of your answer. Okay, and it's shown a little bit here in the standard deviation. What what does it mean? You have the mean value. You have two standard deviations here. Oh, this is one standard deviation, or the other one is two standard deviations. The the range that that. So here I don't use units, but indeed in your um, examples, or you always have to show the units in your answer. But that should be that should be clear. All right.